We shall now take a look at a program to find the smallest of three unequal numbers. So in the first part, what I'm going to do is I am going to assume that all the three numbers are unequal. Later on, I'll show you if all the three numbers are equal, how do we handle that particular problem? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to declare three variables, okay, called as A, B and C. So A, B and C represent three numbers all right, which the user is going to enter. I'm going to declare another variable called as small. To understand how this logic works, I would refer you back to the description of this video where the algorithm to find the smallest of three numbers is discussed. This logic exactly follows the logic used in the algorithm. So if you're not understanding the logic, I would again repeat it and re-emphasize, please go take a look at the algorithms to get a clarity or get a hold on the logic. Now in order to find the smallest of three numbers, I need to ask the user to enter the three numbers. So I'm going to say enter three numbers. All right, so I'm going to ask the user enter three numbers. So once the user enters three numbers, then I'm going to do a scanf. In scanf, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to read those three numbers a, B and C. So the values whatever user enters are going to go into three memory locations with the name A, B and C. Okay, so it's going to go into the address of A, address of B and address of C. Once the user enters a number, my task is quite simple. Initially, I'll go with the assumption that A is the smallest because I have not seen B or C at this point of time. Then it's quite easy. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to compare if b is sorry if b is lesser than small then what i'm going to do here is i'm going to make the new small as b all right and then finally i'm going to check whether c is less than small so i'm going to say if c is less than small my new small is c small happens to be c and then what i'm going to do here is i'm going to print the smallest number I'm going to say printf percentage d is the smallest. All right. Okay, so it, it's just going to print smallest. All right, a little bit of explanation in this particular program. I am asking the user to enter the three numbers. I'm going to read it into memory location A, B and C. I'm assuming A is the smallest because I have not looked at B and C. Now, if B happens to be less than the small, then the small is replaced with the new value or the current value of B. Then C is compared with the new small. If C is less than the small, then C becomes the new small. Now here I have assumed all three are unequal. So in order to test out this logic, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to enter certain numbers. So let's try to compile this particular program and try to run it. So let me enter the number three minus nine and four. So the smallest number should be minus nine if our logic is correct. So it's saying minus nine is the smallest. So this indicates our logic is correct. Let's try to understand or try to do a one more test. Let's enter the number one, two and three. So now if you see, it should say one is the smallest. So far, so good. Let me introduce a problem in this. Let us say all the three numbers are equal. In that case, none of the numbers is going to really be the smallest. You have to print the message, all the numbers are equal. How do we do it? Quite simple. So what I'm going to do here is, I'm going to write a if statement here. I'm going to say if A is equal to B, all right, or logical operator, or B is equal to C, sorry is if a equal to b all right if a is equal to b and what i can do is and b equal to c not or and b is equal to c then what happens is here it means if a is equal to b and b equal to c that means all the numbers are what all the numbers are equal so i'm going to print the message no smallest all are equal all right now so far you have done this logic but you need to see that when the numbers are equal it only executes this particular if statement and does not go to the other part of the code 
quite simple how you will do that you will use the if and else so what you will do is you will associate this printf with the if or this condition is associated with this particular if so if a is equal to b and b equal to c it will print no smallest all are equal else what i need to do is else i need to write a different block and come here and in else part what i'm going to do here is i'm just going to move this so that it's a little more clearer okay so i'm going to move this chap here here and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to put this particular bracket here just wait for me to explain this logic to you so here it is so let's increase the size of this window here you can see this complete code so let's say i enter the number one 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 so what it's going to say is one is equal to one and b is also one one equal to c so both left hand side of the and and right hand side of the and condition are true only if both are true then this condition becomes true if suppose a is equal to b but c was a different value then this condition would be false so this is true this is true so suppose this is 10 10 and 10 then this condition will be true it will print no smallest all are equal suppose i enter 1 2 and 3 then what will happen is this condition becomes false it will come here and it will do the old logic and it will find the smallest of the three numbers so let's see if this particular thing works by running through a small test sample so what i'm going to do here is let me try to compile it first to see that there are no errors seems to be compiling fine let's enter the three numbers let me enter four four and four so what should happen it should print no smallest all are equal so it printed no smallest all are equal so using the if and else i was able to do this particular logic under if only this printf is associated with this if this else part is associated with this if but the else part has a flower bracket if you see the else part it has a flower bracket and these entire set of statements are associated with the else part all right so i hope this should give you a better idea about how to use the if else to find the smallest of three numbers